Well, hello, boys and girls. You're right on time. My name is Clara, and I live here in my cuckoo clock. I keep time moving right along each day so that everyone has fun as we play. Would you like to have a fun time with me today? Yes! You do? Well, tickety-talk! Just like any clock, my clock has two hands. One is big and one is small. These hands tell me what time it is. Let's look at the big hand. What picture is the big hand on my clock pointing to? The music note. The music note, right. That means it's time to sing. Everyone, stand up and sing a song with me. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. Everybody sing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Oh, you sounded terrific. And would you look at that? The big hand is moving closer and closer to the next spot on our clock. When the big hand makes it to the next spot on my clock, there's a special song I sing. It goes like this. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. We're right on time. The big hand is pointing to a picture of a game. <laughs> well, that must mean it's game time. Let's play What's Missing. You see, we have a sun, a planet, and a star. Then sun, planet. But what comes next in the pattern? Boys and girls, do you know what's missing? A star. A star, that's right. Hmm, I wonder where we could find one of those. Good idea. Maybe we can look for one at our next stop on the clock. Oh, the big hand is moving again, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, what feathering fun. <laughs> it's time for a Bible adventure. Today, we're going to outer space. So go ahead and put on your moon boots. And don't forget to put on your space helmet. Now flap your wings and fly on a Bible adventure with me. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to outer space. If you're here looking for a star, then you have definitely come to the right place. I'll even be happy to help you find one. But before you go, would you have time for a story? Yeah! Oh, great! The best way to hear a story here in space is to click on your listening ears. Do it with me. Click, click. 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 Cool. Now, you also need to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. You're ready now. My favorite book to read for story time is the Bible. And one of my favorite people to read about is a boy named Joseph. Let me hear all of you shout, Joseph! Joseph! You sound out of this world. So Joseph was a boy who lived with his dad and his brothers. Together, they all took care of sheep. Joseph's dad loved him very much. He loved Joseph so much that he gave him a beautiful, colorful coat. But Joseph's brothers didn't have a colorful coat. They felt jealous and angry because they wanted one too. Friends, let me see you make an angry face like Joseph's brothers. You got it, but that wasn't the only thing that made Joseph's brothers mad. Joseph also bragged about two dreams he had, where everyone in their family bowed down to him like he was their king. They were so mad at all of Joseph's bragging that they couldn't even say one kind word to him. 
One day, Joseph's brothers were out feeding their sheep. They had been gone a long time, so Joseph's dad sent him to check on them. As Joseph got closer to his brothers, they started making a plan. They wanted to hurt Joseph because they were still so angry at him. Boys and girls, do you think it's right to hurt others when we're angry? No! No way! God wants us to do what's right even when we're angry. But the brothers decided not to do what's right. They tore off Joseph's colorful coat and threw him into a big, empty hole in the ground. They thought about leaving him there forever, but they decided to sell Joseph to some traders who were coming by and lie to their dad about what happened. The traders took Joseph to a place called Egypt. There, Joseph went to work for a leader named Potiphar. I'm sure it was scary for Joseph to be in a new place far away from his family, but all the while, Joseph did what's right. Every time Potiphar gave Joseph a job to do, he did it right away, and he worked hard until it was done. Potiphar saw Joseph always doing what's right, so he put Joseph in charge of everything. Friends, God is always with you and me too. He's protecting us and teaching us how to do what's right. We can do what's right by being kind to others, by listening and obeying our leaders, and by working hard to do our best. If you can do what's right, let me hear you say this after me. Do. Do. What's right. What's right. Wow, thanks for taking the time to hear my story. I almost forgot. Here's the star you're looking for. Safe travels back to Earth. Tickety talk. Oh, we found what we needed. But the big hand is moving, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick tock goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. It's time to help. Lots of people need our help every day. Do you remember something we learned on our Bible adventure that could help someone else? Ah, yes. We learned to do what's right. Everyone, say this after me. Do. Do. What's right. What's right. That's it. Oh, and look, here's someone we can help. This is Miles. It looks like Miles and his friends are on a field trip to a planetarium. That's where you can look through big telescopes to see stars and planets that are far away. But Miles is not letting his friends have a turn to look through the telescope. We can help Miles do what's right. Can Miles do what's right by sharing the telescope or by not sharing the telescope? By sharing the telescope. You got it. It's time for us to help Miles before his friends get really mad. Let's help Miles by telling him what we learned on our Bible adventure today. Say it after me. Do. Do. What's right. What's right. Well, tickety talk. <laughs> we were right on time to help Miles. He heard what we said, and now he's sharing with his friends. Miles and his friends are having so much fun because everyone is doing what's right by sharing. You and I can have fun when we do what's right too. You know, there's a verse from the Bible that tells us all about how God wants us to live every day. Say it after me. Love. Love. Being kind. Being kind. To others. To others. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Cuckoo! I can love being kind to others, and so can you. It's always a good time to be kind. Speaking of time, the clock is ticking. So let's sing my special cuckoo clock song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, it's time to sing again. I know just the song that can help us remember how God wants us to live. Stand up and let's sing it together. We've got time to travel. We're going to do what's right. We're going 
gonna love everybody And we'll always be kind Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. time to travel we're gonna do what's right we're gonna love everybody and we'll always be kind jesus i will do what you say i will obey i want to love 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 i want to be be kind i want to obey god and do what's right Feathering fun. <laughs> time sure flies when you're having fun. It's time for me to go, but I hope you will come back soon. <laughs> <laughs>